is about the possibility of transformation being offered to me but not being imposed upon me. And for me that is a, about a, a God who offers but does not demand that I respond to him in this way. And I find that to be a, a very good summary of what the Christian faith is trying to say about a God who offers but does not impose. And again, those of you who are familiar with the New Testament will think of the imagery of Revelation chapter 3, which speaks of Christ knocking on the door and asking us to open, but leaving that action up, uh, open to us. Okay. Mr. Hitchin. Not imposed. Did you really say not imposed? What if you reject this offer? What are you told by, what have you been told for centuries by Christians? If you reject this offer that took place by means of a torture to death of a human being that you didn't want and should have prevented it, if you could. What if you reject the offer? If you, if, you, if you accept it, you can have eternal life and your sins are forgiven. Oh, great. What a horrible way to abolish your own responsibility and get your own bliss. I don't want it. Oh, you don't? Well, then you would go to hell. This is not imposed. This hasn't been preached to children. By, by gruesome elderly virgins with backed by force for centuries? <laughs> hasn't po hasn't, this hasn't poisoned whole societies? No. In, of course it's, in, it's not voluntary. The, uh, uh, the Pope of Rome, as I call the Bishop of Rome, Mr. Ratzinger, Herr Ratzinger, has recently said, actually, it's worse than that. Only my version of Christianity can get you salvation. And there is only one way. I say it in Georgetown. There's only one. You presumably don't believe that because you're an Anglican. But on what basis do you tell the Pope that he's a heretic? Once you grant this stuff, once you start with this white noise chat about redemption, where is it going to end? Of course there's nothing voluntary about it. And <laughs> I must say the book of Revelation seems one of the less uh, voluntary texts of the... It, all it does is look forward gleefully to apocalypse. Um, to, the, to the passing away of this veil of... Uh, tears into our ultimate destruction. This is morality? I don't think so.